get the big, big I'm human, bottles I'm from treasure. Target and just get like 30 of them? Nah, why you just get little sauce packets? Why can't you just get the bottles? Each yeah, just drink? get the bottles, bro. You care. Whoa. 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 Well, first just, of all, Alec is gone. Uh, let's so let's, that's what let's he's start the show. About. Let's start the show yes. so we can. Is it recording? Tim, are, we all, are we good to go? Mm. <laughs> all right. Three, two. Welcome back to the show about nothing. It's our second to last episode before at least the three of us get out. We have Alex sitting in for AJ, thank God, today. <laughs> um, you know, I think we all could use a break. Um, you know, I was talking with um, McD, Connor McDermott, about what I should talk about today on this show before. And, and he had a good idea. He said, why don't we talk about, like, some of our favorite teachers um, through the last four years and just, like, some good memories about... You know, no way Connor uh, thought of that. He did. I know. I know. He did. He did There's think that's that's no not, that's not of Connor's eyes. I know. That's what he. Said. <laughs> that's what he told me. I know. I know. But um, I don't. Does anyone want to start? I mean, I mean, I think I'll, I'll start because I'm the junior. Because you guys like opinions mean more than mine. Because I'm the junior, so you guys got the seniority. But right. So what, what's like the basis of this? Like, am I going like math teachers? Am I going just, just teachers in any general? Any teacher, any teacher that like just Me that just meant a lot to you. Alan. Yeah, meant a lot to me. Um. This is a hard one. I mean, like, I mean, Mr. Will has got to be up oh, there. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got to be up there. Got to be up there, coach. But besides that, like, actual subjects. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a ripoff answer. <laughs> yeah, I know. But we like, can all hear say Mr. Willer. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of forget, like, the like the classes that I was in. Oh, Miss Pipetti. I love mm, Mrs. Pipetti. Yeah, like, it's a common take. Yeah, Mrs. Pipetti. It's a great, um, it's a good one, though. Great sophomore year, uh, history. Um, my freshman year English uh, math teacher, um, Miss Orlando. But she was Miss Powers when I was there. But it's Miss Orlando now. She was a great teacher. Um, you know, she always helped me. So can't ask more than that. Um, just being a great teacher. Um, and I, I think I should have one more, right? I don't. I actually don't know. Um, I like Miss Imani last year. Miss Imani, mm. my uh, my bio teacher. She actually, yeah, she subbed for our class. Yeah, great year. respect for her. You know, she was a great teacher. So those are my three right now. All right, Nick. Oh, I'm going. You are going. All right. The well, academic weapon himself. Yeah. So which AP teacher did you like Yeah, the what? Best? Um, L5 AP. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> let him go, let him All go. right. I don't even want to go, Simon. You go now, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. I... I um, all right, fine. Um, <laughs> freshman year, probably no one. <laughs> um, all of Nick's freshman I year mean, teachers are I mean, like, everybody, what did everybody I do? Everybody here can say Miss Stoker, but I think that's... Yeah, I don't want to... it's yeah. more so like the... Just the right, I think print. we all can say Miss Stoker. I'll probably say Miss Power. Okay. Miss Power, my psych teacher now. She comes down period four to, during Miss Ramard and my internship, so I'm here. I see her two periods a day. Mm -hmm. Very chill. We talk about baseball a lot. <laughs> and uh, probably her... I'd say Miss Papetti, too. Yeah, I have Papetti sophomore, sophomore League history. Winner. Yeah, winner. I'd probably probably Miss Papetti and Miss Power the two. Mm. Mm. Um, I'd say I got a lot. I mean, I've actually really enjoyed like pretty much all my teachers. They can't say the same. Um, probably Just not. Kidding. Um, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously Miss Papetti in uh, history it was a very fun time. Um, then last year, um, I loved uh, Miss Purdy, bio teacher, one of the greatest people i believe in this school a lot of people say that and then mr myers funny guy very funny guy uh had a great time in his class and then uh mr kittrich probably um one of the best teacher teachers i've ever had um learned a lot in that class and uh now i'm going to be majoring in statistics so yep. partly because of that, Look at that. And then i mean mr o'brien yeah obviously I have so many teachers. Yeah. I could just keep going. I I've loved had my teachers. Of, every single one of those teachers that you just said, I've never had in my entire life. Yeah. They, which, that, which they exist crazy. in like a different part of the school. You know? I don't think I've had most of them. Um, I think for me, I think Miss Petty would be one. I had her. I just had her this year. Um, Miss Power, I've had. I had last year, and um, and this year I also have her. Um, she comes to my internship a lot. Um, I know her very well. She wrote my letter of recommendation. I would definitely say her hmm. as someone significant. Uh, Mr. Lewis from sophomore year was one of my favorite Ooh. teachers. Um, Miss Core, cool. my math teacher last year, was um, was one of my favorite teachers. She was very funny and like sarcastic to me all the time. So I'd say uh, I'm trying to think else. Well, Miss Stoker, obviously. I yeah, think no. We can all say yeah, that. That's a given. Um, Miss Conrad this year though. No, Miss mm. Conrad yeah, was Ms. also Conrad great. Love her. great experience. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Willer, obviously, but um. I know more outside of this classroom, but um, 
Um, he he's obviously one of my favorite. He's my favorite gym teacher. I have a question. What? What's your favorite like school memory? Like it can be. I oh. mean, it can't be like a crazy memory, but like it can either be in like a class or like you know, like on sports. You know, what do we think? Best memory in, that go. happened inside Westboro High School. You gotta go first. All right. I don't, I don't know. I actually have a memory. Um, I actually like. I don't know. I've told this story a lot. So um, me and uh. Andrew Sonelia and I, we were in uh, a math class, uh, sophomore year. It was actually uh, Mrs. Orlando's math class. Oh, I think I know this um, story. Yeah, we were pretty goofy kids. It's not that story. Hmm? Oh. We are, we're oh. pretty goofy kids, and um, we, we laughed a lot in that class, but this one topic we just like could not understand. It was uh, logarithms. Yep. Oh, Nick's I just, heard I the just story. had a test today, log All right. test. We were so lost. We didn't even like know what a log was. And then on the board, she writes something. And it like she's writing then, but it looks like hen. Like we couldn't see the T, so we were so confused. Like why we're learning about like logs and hens. <laughs> like we thought this was like some like farm thing. Like we were actually so lost, and we just started like dying laughing. We're like, what are we actually learning? And then we realized it was then. And then like we probably spent the rest of the class just laughing about like how stupid we are. This kid's going to Michigan, by yeah. the way. Yeah, that that was uh, Michigan's fine. But that was probably my best memory like in the high school. I outside of sports, I mean in sports, I think. Fitchburg game, basketball Fitchburg, game first first electric. basketball game of senior year. That game was electric. But then yeah, oh, that academically that was my. I hated story. that game. Well, you hated shut up. It? Why did you hate no, that game? Up. No, I'm I joking. went zero for three with two. Tra- no, no, <laughs> I no, I actually liked that game. It was just it was just such a pain. Like I usually like when I play basketball, people talk trash like regularly but like they were just going out of their way it wasn't even about basketball no, anymore. No. it was just personal that's what made it fun bro it was that's what but made like, it i say fun. that i understand no, i understand because for the f- first three quarters right i was fine with it but when i got to the fourth quarter i'm like you guys are losing the game you guys need to do something about it start but, talking yeah. to me the crazy part is zach so what did we end- we ended up winning by like 10 right, or something. yeah, yeah i think it was 10. the game was like, like, like 15 was- the whole game yeah yet it felt so close because yeah. they were getting into yeah. it the whole time and that's what made it so much fun well in the crowd too was pretty sick. i was gonna say watching that that was the most fun game to watch i'm i'm like the type because- of person to be like dialed in during a game like i'm just like tunnel vision this like me and like the game but i was so into the crowd like i was trying to get the crowd going yeah, you the got a couple technicals game. in your days right but How that's many? not from the crowd <laughs> max that's all from, from the, the crowd. game yeah right. <laughs> right how many technicals have you you have you ever been teed up have any of you been te- i know you've been te- has anyone else <laughs> like, in, like in school ball season yeah no no, I've never been teed up. No. But like in AAU, that's a different thing. Yeah. I only remember one of yours though. I've only been teed up twice. Once in AAU, yeah. once in school ball. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I remember when you got teed up. It was pretty it was kinda it wasn't It was the it was it the most BS. It was a joke, yeah. yeah right? You most... like clapped or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah. you like looked at the ref or something. Duels, to... have you been ever have you ever been teed up in your uh, career? Your basketball career? Your storied I, basketball career, should I say? I actually got ejected uh, one time. What the in uh, um. at, in fifth grade summer basketball camp. Oh, <laughs> oh I was ejected count. because oh. I was taunting. I I was taunting. <laughs> Bro said summer basketball camp. <laughs> well, well, that, if, that you wanna, if you want to, if you want to hear, if you want to hear an interesting story, I All right. I put up a finger uh, oh on, on the other in coach. Grade? <laughs> in, fifth grade. in fifth grade, I didn't even know what that. Meant. Well, what's funny was the coach because it was like a. Do like you remember the coach? I think it was um. I think it was Jack McGinn. I think it was. Is that the same? <laughs> yeah, 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 Jack yeah, McGinn. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was him. Either Wreck he demon. was my coach or he was the coach I did to, but they they didn't they didn't care. They thought it was a joke, mm-hmm. but they were like, "Oh, you're ejected." <laughs> oh, so they just wait, like man, they like jokingly ejected. These ejecting camps, you. man. I mean, no, yeah, wait, yeah. hold on. This is on a good note. So, like in basketball, after you score a basket, what it or like whatever happens, what is the most disrespectful thing that you can Damn, do to the other dumb. team? Flip off like, the other team's coach? No, but like besides, I that, didn't score because by we're the talking way. about technicals. But I want to like, I want to go back funny. to the summer camp. <laughs> Well, that that was back when I was in my peak of just just being one of the worst players on the court. I mean, you passed <laughs> me the ball, I couldn't I I couldn't do anything with the ball. Yeah, nothing like, changed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyways, um, could do anything. Like uh-huh. I mean, I, I I might as well not have been playing. I was I think when they were on offense, I was because I was taunting him before. Uh-huh. I think when we were on one side of the court, I was on the other side just taunting him. It was a four on five the whole time, and finally I just I I I I just flipped him off and. That, that yeah. was that, that's, and I couldn't. Uh, that is funny. And they were like, "Get out!" <laughs> can we can we talk about how awesome those camps are, though? Yeah. Like growing up, like those were my favorite two weeks of the summer. Yeah. I remember one time I couldn't go to a week, 
And I was like so bummed. Like I felt like my summer was like ruined. We used to be on the same team a couple times. I, I guess so. Yeah. Well, you used. To, I remember one time you you would you would uh, you'd always get mad at me because I'd always like you pass me the ball at like because you know we play like the short courts. Yeah. So you pass me the ball and I would literally take like a half court shot mm. and you get so mad. Yeah. Well, I yeah, gotta I get mad at you to this day. Yeah. Those I camps get... had me crying sometimes. Yeah. Like, hey, man, bro, like, like at the end, like if, if I lost a championship but I won the Coca Cola shootout, like I'd go home with a pack of Coke, but I'm crying in the <laughs> car. Like my mom is telling me how bad of a sport I am, but I'm just crying because <laughs> I keep losing, man. Yeah. It was those were it was like passion. Like yeah. back then it was just like you just wanted it more. I think I only won one camp championship. I won two. I won one, but I I think. I don't know. Wait. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. There are only win. like four teams and it gets so competitive. Yeah. And like they're the kids that you're going to be playing high school basketball with that for is, like the rest of like your high school career, which mm-hmm. is kind of cool because in 7th grade like I didn't really like see it, but like all the kids that were in the camp are like on the team now. So Yeah. Except for me. Yeah. Yeah. Except for Max. Uh, Max. No, there's literally no, I know. 50, 60 kids at that <laughs> camp. There's that's just far from the truth. I know. But um Yeah. No, um I have some good memories from that camp. That I know, camp you, was yeah. electric. Did you ever win, Nick? The championship? No. no. Yeah, see, it's crazy. There are four teams that it's like it feels so hard to win a championship. But I feel like the kids that won the championship aren't like aren't the ones that play basketball now. I feel like they just play rec. I remember <laughs> like, that, it just like feels like I, that because I remember losing championships. And I'm like, you guys don't play basketball. Well, because what they would do is they would try to balance out the team. So the best, yeah, the best so players, the, the best player, like oh, the yeah. three best players, would always be on. Like, and the teams that are always the worst, the teams that have the worst player never win in the camp. That's just like I feel like the rule. The uh, worst. When you have player? the worst player in the camp. Oh, the win. worst player. In the well, because you, you have don't to win. play him. Yeah, you don't win. Yeah, yeah. it's even win. time. No, you're only as weak as your as your weakest link. You're strong. only as strong as your weakest yeah. link. Um, That's my favorite quote. I'm yeah. joking. I'm joking. Is it what? What is your favorite quote, Alec? I feel like you have a quote. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, I think it's about being te- staying ten toes down. I think. No, 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 no. Never let someone else put an expectation on you that you don't have on yourself. Come on, lock in. <laughs> like you can't tell me to do something. Uh-huh. Like put an expectation on me that I don't even have for myself. Mm. Like if you want to reach me, a, like you want me to reach a certain goal, but I don't even want want to reach that goal. Mm. Wow. I have a good can't, one. Can't that let that happen. Staring into my eyes. I have a good majestic. one. That <laughs> 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 okay. My quote is: "Don't be a dumbass." Whoa. Um, that's it. That's dual it. St- Plain and simple. That's uh, it. Um, do you do you take your own advice? Or yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm not a dumbass. What's yeah. your favorite quote, Nick? I don't have a favorite quote. I mean, like, what's your favorite lyric? My favorite lyric? Yeah. I don't know if you can say it on it. Like, um, <laughs> no, well, like, from, like, a Drake song. From like, a Drake song? Bro, there's so many, bro. <laughs> um, we ain't even in Turks, but we can take it. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Drake quote? Uh, that's that's uh, a good question. Like, he's got some, like... He's got bangers. Like, bro. I walk in godly form am- amongst immortal men. Like, he said that in Sandra's Rose. I was thinking Sandra's Rose. I was thinking of Barbara yeah, Sandra's I mean, Rose. I was thinking the one from Rick Pitino. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't Pitino. say that one. I can't say that yeah, you one. you can't say that one either. I, but, um, yeah, no, I, I don't know my favorite Drake what's your, what's your favorite lyric? You ha- you have to have one. A lyric? I mean, like, there's some, like, lyrics that, like, stick with you after you hear the song. You're, like, you're listening to it. You hear the lyric, and you're, like, just, like. Oh, like, that's a bar. Like, wow. He really just said <laughs> that. Like, it'll make I, you, like, you'll be, like, 30 seconds of the song's finished. But. That lyric will make you replay the whole song. I mean, his I, favorite quote is like, "Yeah, glow slapping, <laughs> <and> ra- <laughs> get it sexy." That's actually my favorite. No, it's um, wait, I like don't even have one. No, but I think about yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, that, that was that was kind of tough. But then I don't really go back. I don't know. I'm not like um, like I don't like to get deep into like songs. Like I listen to a lot of music. You just listen to like the like the I sound just, of it. You don't listen to what they well, say. No, I mean, I do. Um. I mean, you're just trying to have a good time. You yeah, I'm just trying to have a good time, But if man. you want, if you're like, you know, if you're like in your feelings, you listen to that like Rod Wave, or you just hear what he's saying, like that's what you listen to. <laughs> no, I get that, but I don't know. Nothing's really. I don't know. What about you, Dills? In your I mean, rock songs, you and your Rod Darius Wave, man. <laughs> you know, when, when it comes to that music, I don't, I don't even know what they're saying when they sing. So like, <laughs> I like they. Well, like the, the like Drake and all them. I don't know what I can't tell what they're saying, but like, what oh, is Drake in them? What? What? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I I like that type. I like you know. I like the songs that you're saying, but like I just don't know what they're saying. Um, I don't have a quote. I I just I don't listen to songs for lyrics. Like, That's fair. I just listen. Well, Duels actually listens to songs without lyrics. <laughs> what do you mean? On our some of our car trips, we've just heard instrumentals. Oh, no. it was one time. No, <laughs> I, I oh yeah, when I played respect the, that because like you know what? what? I, oh, I played the um um the what's it the the um oh my god the Eminem movie. 
mm. eight mile. Yeah, you guys like, know like yeah. house party music? I like, hate house party music with a really? passion. Really? I hate it. I actually okay. kind of like no, it. No, see, that's the thing. I've always hated it because I I'm like, kinda like it. what's the point of just listening to those like but then you just, beats? But then like, if you really picture where you are, let's say if you're in a bees in a nightclub, oh, like oh. that's the setting that I want wow. to be in. Right, and that house party music adds to the setting. So, like, you, you know, know what it's like. You, know, you fake it until you make club. it. You can sit in a dark basement with LED lights on, listen to house music. But like, that's the thing. Like, I usually listen to people that rap in songs. But like, house party music is like, it's cool. It just like it adds to like your experience of just like being hmm. like a higher class than you already are. Because I feel so. Like, are yeah. you are you admitting to like listening to house music? Yeah, no, like, like in your room alone with LED lights. No, but like if I'm like around my friends and I'm driving at night. Right, and the vibes there is just like house party music. It's like, you know, I've been listening to rap all day, but let's switch it up. Like, you know, like house party music is like it's good music because the beats and like the DJs that get put into it are like, like you guys are like looking at me crazy right now. But like, I'm not. I actually like. The, I agree no, with you. Like, well, I know you and your friends like tend to like like try to be like a frat frat guy. No, we don't <laughs> like, we don't like f- like try to be frat people like frat. Guys no, but like anything. no, but like no, like as a joke, you just go like this twenty four. Oh seven. no, yeah, that's, a, that's a joke. But like, yeah. no, you, no, you are right though. This, yeah. During baseball practice, you're chilling in left field, and you see Dylan Fisher just going like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. We were making a playlist yesterday because you know prom's tomorrow. So prom is tomorrow. We, I know. Are you? Are you? We got. That's the next yeah, topic, let's, man. Let's, let's grill you on on this topic because right. are you like how how excited are you? Like, are, are you ready to go? Like, you got your you got your fit and everything. Like, I'm, yeah, I, I picked up my tuxedo yesterday. Um, that's pretty late. I'm, <laughs> you know, prom only happens once in your high school Not career, right? Um, you guys don't have problems with senior ball, whatever. Um, so this is a, it's a big moment for me. I'm going to be honest. I like, um, I, yeah, I wasn't really looking forward to like the actual prom itself for us, but I feel like our prom was like pretty good. I yeah. mean, like I actually just had a good time. Just like dance with my friends. Yeah, no, no complaints. I mean, I mean, I mean you, it, it was what you expected. I mean, I didn't, I, I don't, it was kind of better I, than, look, I, I don't know what to expect. Cause I always see people post like, Oh, I'm at uh union, whatever, a uh, union, union station, station, right? And I'm like, what even is it? Because I've heard people say, oh, you just sit on your phone for three hours because it's just lame. And then, like, everybody's just, like, wanting to leave. Like, I've heard people leave, like, 45 minutes into yeah. the event. It's, it's Some what, which, did leave, and which kind of switches my view on it because, like, I don't want to be that kid. Like, why would I leave 45 minutes into prom? Like, what, I, I want to, like, cherish my time there. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. No, it's what you make of it. I feel like if your grade, like, wants to, like, get everybody involved in dance, then that's, like, really fun. Because yeah. the music will be good. And there's just, like, a big dance floor. Like, it's what you make of it, really. Is there food there? Oh yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite food from last prom duels? Pasta. Pasta. Okay. Come on now. Okay. I like the chicken okay. parm. I think yeah. that's actually pretty good. Chicken no, we parm. eat good down there. Do you guys know what you're having? No, not at all. Oh. I think they said like American cuisine. So. Yeah. Mm. Like maybe like burgers, whatever. I don't know. No, you'll get like pot. You'll get like pasta, chicken, salad, <laughs> bread. You will not get a burger. Yeah. I was really hyped about that. <laughs> Alex guys, wanted some slide. Five guys is right down the street. Five guys, Kate. Patty, Mill, Patty. Mill. It would get. So, oh my! Imagine you should door that. The door price. Dash. The price would probably be forty thousand dollars for like twenty five burgers because you probably. know per burger. It's and like it's going to be bucks. soggy. Just oh. DoorDash. Um, yeah, it'll get soggy quick. McDonald's. Like, Just DoorDash. Five were two guys. different people. Like the last time I ate McDonald's was like yesterday. No, it was yesterday, man. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't think McDonald's breakfast counts. No, it does. Like, it does. Like a hash brown? You like, didn't have just a hash brown. What? And you had like, like a burrito. A, no, an egg burrito. Like <laughs> that, that is McDonald's. That is, that is, that is, that is, what else would be McDonald's? That, you just a burger like, no, from like, McDonald's. Like, is that what you McDonald's, McDonald's breakfast isn't the same as McDonald's dinner. No, you're right. But it's McDonald's. But it's no, McDonald's. But like I refer to like we, me we, going I to McDonald's it, as me you getting. You phrased it as I have not been to McDonald's since. Yeah, McDonald's is McDonald's is McDonald's. But no, but like, you didn't say McDonald's dinner. You said McDonald's. Well, Max, I'm not Still like you. I don't. Go, I don't go to McDonald's on my free time. Like when I if I want to go. What get did you food, do yesterday? I, don't know. I went to Chipotle. I also went to Chipotle yesterday. I went to Chipotle as well, actually. Wait, hey, what? You not, all went to Chipotle yesterday. Little little nine nine twenty after nine twenty uh, after Mr. WHS. Oh yeah. No, like. Oh, let's talk about Mr. WHS. Oh, like you can obviously you can't like give us secrets, but like what goes into that? Like, I like are you becoming like a better dancer? Um, I would say so. Um, I would say so. Uh, yeah. So we have like a six minute dance we have to learn. We like learn that over like three months. We Wait. do like rehearsals like once or twice a week, and then now we're doing like we're doing twice twice a week, and it's like. On the on the stage on the auditorium like yeah. full rehearsal. Well, so like week, all those week videos. From today, it's, um, well, I, I mean, so all those videos, right? You know, like the interviews. Yeah, like yeah. how long has this been going on for? 
I think it's 10, 10 years, I think. No, no, no. I mean, like, oh. when did you start? Oh, when did we start? So we found out, like, December break, and we started. Yeah, we, so we started right oh, after. So, we started, like, early wait, so like, January. Wait, so you never told anybody that you were going to be Mr. WHS. Like, you're, you're yeah, you're supposed it. to kind of keep it, keep it on you the You did low. a good job because I had no, I, like, I had oh. no clue. Yeah. I All my friends like, figured that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I knew like a weekend. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> they, they could figure it out. But um, no, it's like it's it's pretty fun. It's gonna be a good show. I think we actually have a really good group of people. Um, yeah, I will say that it's a good group. Of I think kids. we have it's diverse and yeah. it's also like kids like you know and kids like you kind of would want to see what they're gonna do. Some people you kind of know what you're getting out of them. Yeah, like I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> for good and for bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see though. There are literally it's gonna some be surprises. Reg- regar- regardless, it'll be entertaining. And what I really like about this year, um, Barbie the the theme that don't, theme don't, is stupid as hell. You right. think it's stupid Not until it. you like see what I it is, it. and it's I like it. it's like an actual like storyline. Like I don't hate it. I like how it's more of a story than like past years. They're like, oh, it's murder mystery. Like whoop de doo. Yeah, like, I, guess. I think this is like a really good storyline and you'll actually be able to like follow like what's going on so, and it's like cool because the opening scene opening Mar- video that, Are you, are you Margot Robbie? Uh, uh, you'll, you'll just he, have to wait and see. He's he's like yeah. you'll brainy, just have to he's wait brainy at Ken. If, hey. if, if I go to Mr. WHS and I see Simon in a pink Margot Robbie um, dress that's going to make my night. Huh? You'll have to see man. Only time will tell. It's going to be a good show. Hey, tickets, so. tickets go on sale Monday. Monday, yep. Tuesday, Wednesday, show Thursday, 7.30. Yep. Going to start raising money, too, yep. on Friday. Better donate. Well, that is all the time we have today. You can join Simon in the Barbie Dreamland next Thursday <laughs> night at 7.30 for Mr. WHS. It should be a great show. I think it's the 10th annual, right? Yeah. I, prob- don't quote me on that. Okay, something. <laughs> but uh, Around there. Hopefully, we'll see you in the Barbie land next Thursday. So, signing off.